In this podcast, we're going to talk about hiring anabolic employees. Check it out. Hi everyone, Doug Grant here. Welcome to a new podcast of Health Professional Success. And today, we're going to be talking about a principle that most of you know in organic chemistry, but we're going to apply it uh, to your business and running a clinic. And the principle is anabolism versus catabolism, or anabolic and catabolic. And we're going to apply it to actually hiring staff members. So let's first get into this and understand, uh, go back to 101, right, biochemistry or organic chemistry and understand what anabolism and catabolism is and then see how it applies to your work environment. So first of all, we know that anabolic means a state of growth, okay? In, in biology, you know, we're in a protein synthesis mode. In other words, we're supplying the right nutrients, we have all of the right chemistry so that, that things can grow, the body can grow, that we're actually improving. And then we have catabolism or catabolic, and that is a state of being torn down. And it's really easy for us to remember this and teach to our patients. One of my favorite analogies I like to use is talking about cannibalism. So if we chop someone up, we would actually be cannibals, right? We're eating them. But catabolism is when our body eats itself. So cannibalism, we eat somebody. Catabolism, when our body eats itself. So when we're talking about anabolic and catabolic, anabolic is building up and catabolic is tearing down. But many times tearing down ourselves and that affects the environment around us. So how does anabolism and catabolism really apply uh, to our clinics? Well, this subject is, something is very important, and one that I think that we overlook in our clinics from the chemistry standpoint of the body and also overall of running a clinic. In the body, I think we overlook it, especially as holistic healthcare professionals. A lot of you are chiropractors and naturopaths because we focus in on the spine, but we don't fo focus in on the muscles and the things that we need to keep anabolic to support it, to give it strength. And because of that, we defeat the purpose. Our spine's there, nothing's there to help it, even if it is aligned right. So we skip that point many times. That's why we have that patented formula, Muscle RX, and we really promote keeping the body anabolic. But in the clinic, I think it's extremely overlooked because when it comes to hiring staff members, they're either anabolic or they're catabolic towards your business. It's plain and simple. And one of the best ways to go about finding out is take a look at your staff right now. I don't care if it's one person, if it's you, if it's 10, 12, we have some clinics of 20, 30 uh, staff members in them. Take a look at your staff members. And again, it might even be you. And say, after one week, look at a week, look at the past week and say, did they provide more energy, more growth to your clinic, to your mission, to your company? than the energy that they took away, that they might have sucked from you, or the drama that they brought. And you need to be real honest about it. And sometimes we are the problem, so including yourself. And if you take a look at that and you work to fix that catabolic staff member, you work to sit down with them and be honest that, hey, that it takes energy from me when you're around and I'm feeling that you're struggling, or I feel that how you're treating some of the patients and those things aren't anabolic, aren't, aren't growth producing, um, let's talk about what we could do to fix that. And if they're willing to fix it and they do, that's great. Nothing better than to help people. But if they're not, if it's something that continues on and the next week you can't look at that person and say they brought growth to me spiritually, to the energy of the, of the staff, to the energy of the patients to make them feel good and feel comfortable about improving their health, then it's time to make a change. Because if you don't make a change, you're going to keep the t deterioration. You're going to keep the cannibalism going. You're going to be eating away at your clinic, at your patient's progress, at their health. And that's something that you can't have. You went into business to be able to help people reach optimal health, to help them grow. And they're coming to you because they're already in pain. They're coming to you because there's already a bit of a catabolic effect going on because of a condition, a mindset, whatever it might be. And it's not only your job, but your staff's job to bring that energy. And it's important to remember the studies done with placebo. So any of you that have gone through college and looked, uh, looked at studies and were able to read them, you're always told about the placebo effect. And the placebo effect tells us that basically at least 30% of the, 
of all the benefit that comes from studies like drug studies and different things like that are come from the placebo effect that people believe they're going to get better, they're going to feel certain things, and they do, and they end up taking the placebo. That's 30%. So if you take a look at your patients that come in, and if 30% of them got better just because they were in your clinic, just because they felt energy, because they felt anabolism, then you're going to have many referrals. So you're going to have a great clinic just because the environment was one of health. It was a growth. It was a being anabolic. But if they come into your clinic and it's a catabolic situation and they are they basically, they feel like more energy sucked from them because the staff member's not treating them right or not feeling like they care at the highest level to make them feel better, then you're actually going to lose referrals. Even if you did the right treatment, nutritionally, um, supplement-wise, adjustment-wise, whatever it is that you do in your clinic, you're going to have a great potential of losing that patient, or at least I'm not referring to you because of that environment. It wasn't anabolic, a growth stated environment. <clears throat> so please, this is something that's really critical. And many people will have a problem with this because they feel, well, I'm a doctor, I'm a health professional, I'm not a manager, a leader, and all that. If you're a doctor, then you're all about the growth and the, the healing for the patient. That means the environment has to be growth and healing. And that's very, very critical. I was in a, a chiropractic clinic yesterday with my wife, and she came out of there saying, you know what? I felt um, caring. I felt growth for me. I want to go back to that. And I thought that was really interesting, that she felt that anabolic state within that clinic, the way it looked, the way it felt, the way the staff members treated her. And she saw three or four different staff members before she saw the doctor. So that's a great <clears throat> example of making sure your clinic's anabolic and making sure your staff's anabolic. So the assignment for this week's podcast is really simple. Take a look at yourself and the past week, how you've treated patients and how you've been with your staff. And take a look at each staff member and determine honestly, were they catabolic or were they anabolic? If they're catabolic, don't just fire them, work at fixing them. Talk to them about it up front, give them that shot. If they fix it, how great that is. And you'll be able to benefit. If not, maybe it's time to change. Not maybe, it's time to change that staff member. Create a clinic full of anabolism. And you'll get the growth for your clinic because your patients will fill it and they'll refer more to you. Give it a shot.